Prior to operating a protein backpack vacuum, it is important that the product is properly fit to the operator. Protein backpack vacuums have adjustable upper and lower back plates for proper fitting depending upon torso length. Adjust the back plates to ensure contact points are being made. Loosen the shoulder straps and waist belt in an open area. Insert the hose into the top of the vacuum. Insert the tools into the convenient waist belt holders. Lift the vacuum by one shoulder strap and slide your free arm into the opposite shoulder strap. Now we need to make the necessary fit adjustments on the following contact points. First, fasten and tighten the waist belt. Make sure the vacuum back plate, which distributes 90% of the vacuum weight, rests upon your hips rather than your shoulders to ensure maximum ergonomic comfort. Next, adjust the shoulder straps so that the unit fits comfortably. Take caution not to over tighten these straps. Last, fasten and adjust the sternum strap. Slide the buckle up or down for best fit and user comfort. It is critical that the unit's two primary points of contact are at the base of your spine, just above the hips and between your shoulder blades and the upper back area. To know if you have your protein backpack on correctly, you should see a space between the shoulder strap and your shoulders. Your vacuum has now been fit for operation. Now that the product adjustments have been made, connect the power supply cord to the extension cord in a manner that minimizes wear on the cord and allows for safe operation. Thread the extension cord up through the loop system on the Schult cord holder on the waist belt. The telescoping wand is shipped in two pieces. To put the wand together, untwist the cuff from the end of the wand and slide the cuff onto other wand half. Insert the wand end by aligning the notch and groove. To do this, find the notch on the inside of the wand nut and the groove on the outside of the wand they must align. Slide down the cuff and twist the wand nut to tighten it into position. To adjust the wand height, simply loosen the cuff and adjust the wand to the ideal height for each operator. Tighten the cuff to lock into place. When attaching the floor tool, be sure that the brass ring is intact with the threaded nut on the end of the wand. Then attach the floor tool by aligning the brass ring with the groove on the floor tool to ensure a secure fit. Twist the wand into the end of the hose. Plug the extension cord into the power outlet. The on-off switch is conveniently located on the waist belt. Turn the unit on and proceed.